When Christine told me that she met a pilot on a dating app that I'd never even heard of in the Charlotte airport, I thought, ugh, what is this world coming to? <laughs> Months later, when Christine and Andrew were continuing the witty banter they started by happenstance in the airport, I thought, you know, actually, this is so Christine. Christine has always been so fearless and unapologetically herself. She's this beautiful, blue-eyed, smart-as-a-whip, sassy woman who can do literally anything. By anything, I mean landing a pilot on a dating app. By anything, I mean graduating from one of the most prestigious law schools in the country with great grades, awesome friends, and an insane job. And by anything, I mean she wore a polo shirt dress throughout high school that no matter how much grief we gave her, she still wore and loved. Probably brought it. Still has it. The Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden, which stands on lands which once welcomed the families of the Catawba tribe, today welcome the creation of a new family being created by Christine and Andrew. It provides a beautiful setting for us to take ourselves out of our usual routine of daily living and witness a unique moment in the lives of Christine and Andrew as they join their lives in the union of marriage. My name's Jordan Harris. I am a uh, longtime friend of Andrew. And when Andrew asked me to be the best man, I uh, happily accepted. And as I thought about it, I thought a little bit more about uh, the speech I was going to give. And I uh, started to get a little anxious about it. But then I thought again, and I said, well, when am I going to get another chance to uh, tell so many embarrassing stories about Andrew in front of so many family and friends? And, uh, and so I thought a little bit more about it, and all the embarrassing stories are completely inappropriate to tell in front of family and friends. We're all aware of how good Christine is at knowing what she wants and going for it. She's traveled the world, picking up amazing friends along the way who are here tonight, many of them. She went to a fancy college in Washington, D.C., and worked for an international organization that the rest of us just had to volunteer for. And she crushed it at a top law school while working full time. She's a force, and Andrew, she wanted you. Our Tulsa group's first introduction to Andrew was via Snapchat and FaceTime. We noticed he was quirky. We noticed that she totally lit up when she talked to him. We noticed that she was suddenly paying attention to how Auburn was playing on game day. But because they're both so jet set, it took a while for us to finally meet Andrew and I'm so glad we did. Go good, Dad. Oh, daughter, you look fabulous. Oh, you look wonderful. Thank you. Oh. oh, I got you these. They didn't quite turn out like I wanted them to, but. Oh, thank you. The cufflinks. Yeah, thank you, honey. That says Jeeps. Oh. <laughs> okay. Before we begin the actual ceremony, Christine and Andrew are so grateful and would like to thank you for all of the love 
and support you have given them throughout the years. You're here because Christine and Andrew know that it will be with your support and love that this marriage will continuously increase in fulfillment and joy with each passing year. Now, fasten your seatbelt, sit back, relax, and let's take off on this journey of marriage. We come to the words Christine and Andrew want to hear most today. The words that take them across the threshold from being engaged to being married. I now ask you to declare your marriage vows. Christine, you know me better than anyone else in this world, and somehow <coughs> you still manage to love me. It's hard to believe I'm standing here, about to begin a wonderful life with my best friend, greatest miracle, and the person I love most in this world. I promise to encourage you, inspire you, to love you in good times and in bad, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and always pursue you. I promise to never take you for granted and always appreciate your love, to be earnest and honest. I promise to always give you the best of me. I will take your love to give me hope, give me joy, and to make me a better man. These things I give to you today and all the days of our life. Andrew, you are the love of my life and my best friend. I don't know what led to us crossing paths that day in the airport three years ago, but I have a feeling something or someone was guiding me toward you. You, my love, were certainly worth the wait. I only hope that with each day that comes, I can make you feel even half as loved as you make me feel every day. I promise to not only grow old with you, but also to grow with you. To laugh with you every day and to build a home full of love, understanding, and patience. I promise to be there through the good and the bad, clear skies and ground stops. I promise as long as I live, you will never be alone. From this day forward, I will always be by your side, loving you faithfully, your co-captain for life. By the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Andrew, you may now kiss the bride. I am honored and pleased to be the first to present the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Carter. Welcome everyone, thank you for coming. What a great celebration. I know a lot of you have come from many, many miles away and we appreciate your attendance. What a rock star couple, wow. Big, big applause here for them. Yeah. We wish you too much happiness, love, and a lifetime of good health. So uh, everybody enjoy and drink up.